All right, Zach, so I'm sick and tired of every time we shoot a graphics card video, the next day, the graphics card is worth twice as much as what we paid for it. Well, just stop shooting the videos because you lose every one of them. I will win, eventually. <laughs> I, I will. I will. A broken clock wins a benchmark twice a day. You're going to lose. So what, what do we do about the pricing? We lock it down to something that will never go up in value again. It, it can't possibly go up in value again. If your graphics card is worth $35 right now, I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, it's not going up anymore. So, so we're racing uh, GT 720s? Probably. <laughs> Those are never going up in value. We're, so today we're gonna show you the glorified video adapters that we have selected for $35. Okay. What are those presidents? We got a Lincoln, we got a... <laughs> <laughs> Jackson? <laughs> Jackson and uh, that other guy. <laughs> We're so bad. Well, I'm I'm poor. I don't know what dollars look like. <laughs> they ain't Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thirty-five dollars is not a lot of money, especially in this economy. So you got to do what you do when you get your first car. You go kind of. You get an older thing, something something vintage. Vintage. So are you ready for this? What what kind of car do you think I got? AMD or, or uh, Nvidia? Well, obviously Team Red. Probably. Yeah. I know you. Well, it's neither. I got an ATI. Okay, so it's pretty much, it's pretty much an AMD. How long after did that card come out that AMD bought out ATI? Eh, a couple of years. Like, actually, I think it was like that year. <laughs> it was literally like right then and there. I think so. Uh, they are still Canadian back then. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah. They don't know what's on the dollar either. Speaking of uh, how long after that card came out, what is that card? It's right here, good sir. It's a... ATI Radeon, almost at AMD, Ooh. 4870. Ooh. Now this card, this was this is a pretty choice piece of hardware back in like 08. Yeah, it is. I had to go pretty light on the, uh, the numbers here. He has more numbers than me. I got a GTX 550 Ti. Is that like, did they make an LTT edition with the orange? Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's beautiful. Yeah. In the eye of the beholder, I guess. <laughs> I got one whole gigabyte of VRAM. What do you got? Less. How like, much less? Half. Ooh. I got five twelve megs of uh, was it GDDR five? Yeah. I mean, I mean, look at me. I've got I've got a single power connector. You've got two. Yeah, so it's twice, twice as fast. I don't think that's how that works. This is definitely how it works. Cause this thing came out in like if what? If my car has two gas tanks, it's twice as fast as yours. This card came out in like what? 2011, I think? 11? Yeah. Roughly. Roughly. Don't quote us. Your card is like vintage. Like wow. That thing's like over 10 years old. The brand doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. It's like the Matrox of... Well, do not. <laughs> do not go there. I think Matrox made good cards. I don't remember. I was too... I didn't have money. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what anything was. Cards were just, were just a, a feeble, can mine even stand up like yours? <laughs> it's so weak. You should get some voodoos one of these days. Mm. Those are going up in value. Yeah, they are. So we have to hope, we have to hope these don't become classics. The second that, <laughs> the second that we upload this video, these are going to be worth twice as much as they were. This could be a classic, but I don't think anybody's going to offer Collect 550 Ti's. It's got an SLI connector on it. You could double these things up to double your performance in like... No titles in the current year. Unreal Tournament, I don't know. <laughs> what is your cooling solution? <laughs> oh, I've got a solid brick of aluminum that looks like it's been chopped into a million pieces. So that's an Intel stock cooler. Yeah, essentially. I mean, I don't... When you're only working with 100 watts, that's all you need. Yeah, uh, that's all you need. When you're working with... Uh, a billion watts, whatever. One hundred and fifty. Ah, oh, look at those though. Heat pipes. That's how yeah. you know it's a quality product. Yeah, that, that is high quality. I mean, I, when it was new, it probably cost twice as much as this thing. So in two thousand eleven, it probably cost the same price as this. Where <laughs> now we are sitting in twenty twenty one, where these are both rotted down to thirty five dollars. Oh, that's so sad. The mighty have fallen. <laughs> how far can they fall? It doesn't even, like, this isn't even a memorable card. You, you think of memorable graphics cards, you think of, like, the Voodoos, 
And you think of like the GTX 480. Or like the 295 X2. You know, you think of like, 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 the, crazy. The, meme, like the crazy engineer, like the first tight end. You think of like the meme cards. Yeah. This is, who, who are you? <laughs> yeah, you're just a, you know, the standard, you know, everyday man, strong boy card that just plays games for the, the common man. This, this was kind of a cheaper one, not gonna lie. That, that, yeah. This was affordable. This was, this was, you know, you got it for your first PC, like some people, <laughs> me. <laughs> and What do you even play with that, like League of Legends? I played League. I played Fallout. I played Call of Duty 4. I love COD 4. So, uh, yeah, like, what do you got for I.O. on that thing? I've got an HDMI port, a VGA port, and a DVI. Okay, well, I've got two DVIs and an S-Video. Yeah, you know, what is an S-Video? It's something that I've literally never used. It, it thinks for TVs. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the comments, let me know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what S-Video is. I'm like, like, I'm sure I could Google, Google it, it, but, like, I want some interaction. <laughs> Interact with me, please. Please talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it on a bunch of old hardware, and I've literally never used it. I think my TV had an S video slot. Nice. Right. But they have like on like what is it like those those old CRT? Yeah. The melee the melee TVs. The melee TVs. <laughs> it's all they're used for now. All right. Well, like let's find out the uh, performance cap of these two beast cards. Let's find out if I'm gonna be using this. That's my personal rig new uh, GPU. Don't lie to anyone. <laughs> they, they know you're lying to them. <laughs> you're right. I, I actually am a little too in love with that uh, 5500 XT. Card just wows me every time. All right, after a, a, a mass um, pain in the butt of installing ATI drivers. Yeah, that was a pain. Um, there's some weird C++ redistributable problem with uh, ATI drivers to where if you have like any C++ redistributables on it, it doesn't want to install. So if you have a clean install of Windows, great, good for you. But uh, if you're Zax with 50 C++ redistributables, not a good time. Yeah, you have a normal computer with normal computer things and it does not care for you. Uh, the driver is last built for Windows 8, so you know. So yeah, clean install of Windows, HD, 4870 work just fine. But, yeah, or uh, use Windows 7. Or have a 550 Ti. Uh, or use Windows 7. You don't need DX12. Oh. I don't have DX12. Hmm. <laughs> so, honestly, yeah, you might as well just use Windows 7 if you're rocking a 2008 era GPU. Alright, so what are our benchmarks going to be for today? Uh, let's see here. What did we agree on? We have your Heaven. favorite game. New Vegas. New Vegas. Gab's favorite game. Then we have Heaven Benchmark. The standard. And then we have that weird bear game. I got it for like 75 cents. Bear game. Alright. That sounds like a solid suite. Yeah, and again, these cards will both run League of Legends, Rocket League. I'm pretty sure this will run Rocket League. It runs League of Legends just fine. Yeah. Like, your classic eSports titles will probably be fine. Yeah, they're all DX9, 10. Yeah, just quickly. Let me just launch CSGO. If it runs CSGO, his runs CSGO. I'm going to do something dumb while he's screwing around with that. Come on, baby. You can do it. No! <laughs> yeah, you don't have full DX12. Don't get cocky. Oh. The only map. All right, so find out if it works on... Because if it works on the 2008 GPU, you can run it. Yeah, yeah. It's CSGO. Honestly, I would be amazed if an eSports title wouldn't run on this card. I should get like 200 plus FPS. <laughs> when you play it? It's... Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I know you're trying to cram all of, the all of Dust 2 into 512 megs of ERAM. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I have faith. <laughs> <laughs> and you, buddy. <coughs> hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> I nearly lost faith, but you Zax did not. If you don't have faith, if you don't have faith, then why are you even here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we need a lot of faith for these GPUs. Uh, America side. Oh. 
Where's, where's the five seven? Mm. This is very competitive gameplay settings. I mean, we're at 1080p here. I think this is more of a 720p. Oh, 100%. Card. Like. <sighs> 1080p wasn't even like around back then. By us playing on. Oh, 1080p. it's also set to auto high. Nice. Lower performance. You gotta get out of here. You might want to change it to 720p. Oh, I want to see what Lois does first. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's see. Down there at the bottom. Let's apply. Did you apply it? You idiot. You would think the check mark here would be it. No. It's call a vote, man. It's for voting. Democracy. Oh god, it's gonna crash. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> I'm fairly confident saying that these cards can run CSGO. Yeah, you seem pretty confident. She's thinking. Oh lord, she's thinking. She thinking. This might be one of those things where you change the settings and then you load into the game. Not, not load into the game and then change the settings. That's unfortunate. That's gonna show off my sick op skills. Oh, wait. I think it, I think it finished. No, now I gotta back up my skills. <gasps> I saw over a hundred there. I don't have money. Oh, I'm not playing deathmatch. Ah, crap. That's yeah, 100 FPS. Wow. 1080p. A little bit of hitching there. A little stutters. Then they don't worry about those. Wow. That yeah, is definitely stuttering. Oh, it's set up. Oh, bot, you're so dumb. Yeah, I mean, if you lower this to 720p, though, this would double, like, like the frame rate would effectively double. Yeah, like... Especially on your card, where you have, you know, you kind of have a, a, a VRAM limit here. Thing, op skills. Uh, yeah. It's gonna get mowed down immediately, watch. By easy bots. Oh, oh. That was so slow. Oh, he's getting them shots. This doesn't feel terrible, honestly. Yeah. Like, 75, I saw it peek up there. Like, this is actually playable. Cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, just turn it down to 720p and it's like... All right, so we can we can say it. both these cards will run your eSports yeah, yeah. titles. So let's try it. We're, we're benching fun titles here. I don't, I don't care if this card's faster at CSGO. Like, yeah, like we're not getting 800 FPS, so we're not real gamers anymore. And nobody cares. <laughs> All right, weird. Uh, Bears. Bear game. Bears. Bears vodka. Something else. All right. 1080p. Fantastic. Fantastic. Display one. All right, let's do this. You do get more FPS than me in the other uh, loading screen. This was, this was a uh, 75 cents. I can't keep saying that because that that is a steal of a deal. I mean, like 70. 62, 58, 71, 66. Yeah, I don't think I hit 70 at all. Yeah, no. Getting 76. So I, I, I clipped through the map and saw, saw a 80 for a second there. This doesn't count. That's T posing right at me. He's asserting dominance. I died there. It's fine. Yeah, so. 62, 72. Yeah, I think I've got like a 10 FPS. Yeah, you're, you're, you're at least like you're at least 10% faster in this game. That's a shame. This is a very real, very competitive uh, game. You know, I'm waiting to see Shroud play this next. Yeah. Critical's gonna speed run it. <laughs> Just remember, you saw it here first. Coil wine. Get subscribed. All right. I mean, I think I think we know you won this one. Yeah. All right. Which one's next? We're gonna do a run a heaven benchmark. Yeah. Let's do heaven. So, well, we're going to go with uh, Max Tessellation, right? DX11. <laughs> Just go with the preset basic. Just go up to the preset. Oh, the DX. basic. That way we can just hit run at the same time. Yeah. We hit run, and then I think the benchmark is in the actual yeah, loader, it's in, so it's in the game, yeah. just, just hit run, and then we'll, we'll try to time our... We'll sync up our bro sync. Now this is at 720p because it is windowed, yeah. I believe. So we'll just have to do the whole, the whole uh, relaunching Jurassic Park thing here. All right. Hold on to your butts. One, two, three. What are you looking at? 44. 41. <laughs> so, so we'll see. This card is uh, optimized for heaven, not bears. 
Well, I mean, this is also a longer benchmark, so, like, your better cooling solution might come in to play here. Like, I might lose performance. Maybe. I don't... I, I don't, don't think, think these cards boost. Yeah, I don't think they scale off of temperature, yeah. I, I don't right. think they boost. I think these are static. Yeah, I think you're right. So I, should, I think your fancy cooling solution is useless. Yeah, because GPU boost wasn't a thing yet. But then again, then again, it wasn't a thing, but if you overclocked, your overclock might become unstable if, yeah. the, if the temperature starts to climb. So you'll, you'll throttle at some point. I don't, I don't think we want to touch overclocking. Overclocking yeah. GPUs is really sketchy sometimes. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to squeeze 10% more out of it, and then, like, it'll crash in your favorite game at, like, a certain point. I don't want to have to download the tools from 1945 to flash ATI BIOSes. I think you're carrying, like, a solid 4 or 3 FPS lead. That's insane. Yeah, DX9, you might just be stronger than me. In. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is kind of a longer benchmark, so us just chatting here is probably a good, uh, just filler. Like, you know, it's podcast stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, how's the wife and kids? What, wife or kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Theoretical? <laughs> well, they're doing great in a place that... <laughs> I don't know them yet. <laughs> look, at these, look at these shadows. God. Uh, I'm sure we turn on some of that tessellation, though. Real, yeah, for real, the dragon looks so sad without the tessellation effect applied. Yeah, it's just a smooth, <laughs> it's, smooth dragon. It's just a lizard. <laughs> Angry lizard with wings. Uh... Yeah, I remember. I remember this benchmark when they first came out with it, showing off tessellation on like a 480. A 480, and it, you could just hear the fan in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets up to 90 degrees. Yeah, you know, the reviewers trying to talk, but his hair's like blowing away. From it's getting the... sucked into the fan. <laughs> is that the next? Is that the Coil Wine thousand subscriber video? Seeing if my hair gets sucked into a blower <laughs> card. <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Do they make 3090s in blowers? I think they do. I think they somebody makes a 3090 blower. I know it's I know it's out there. I mean, if you can make a freaking 480 in a blower card, you can make a 3090 in a blower card. 3090 has a higher TDP. There's no way. Yeah, but they both get equally hot. And I'm sure they're better at building blower cards now. Hopefully. What's your graphics running at? What, what's your what's your speed running at? 750 and so you get, 900 on the RAM. So you have. 900 on the ramp? Wow. Because I'm running uh, two, 2,000 on the RAM and 900 on the, uh, the the processor. It might be reporting your double rate. Yeah, it might also be. It has to be. I mean, this was what, the first card with GDDR5 or one of the first? Yeah. So it's probably a little bit slower than his. There's no way he's running over double my RAM speed. Yeah, I think it's literally just the, the DDR. <laughs> yeah, the dual data rate. Yeah. Double data rate. But, uh, I mean, still, I, I have a higher, even if you cut it in half, I still have a higher one. So, like, I got higher maybe memory. your memory bus is coming into play. I think you have a bigger memory Yeah, I've got, like, a 256. So, my 190-something, I think, yeah, might be coming into play there. I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Like, I wish there was, like, an actual thing that you could pull up and see what's bottlenecking you on, like, the card space itself. The graphics the graphics cards are so hard to talk about because you're like, oh, my memory buff, but it's like, is is your architecture memory starved like Vega is or not? Like, oh. It's like, you know, the Radeon that has like super fast memory and it's, and the core is just like, I'm just going to chomp through whatever I can get. Oh, oh. Ooh, baby. So. Oh my Lord, my minimum. Oh God, the <laughs> minimum. That's interesting. So you have a higher max but a lower minimum where I have a, a, a like, higher my highs minimum are, but a lower max. My highs are way higher but my lows. <laughs> Zax's card is bipolar. <laughs> oh no. My card, that's got to be the VRAM. Where, that's very interesting. That's yeah. got to be the VRAM where the car, the, the poor game's like, just take the data. <laughs> take it. Take it. All right. Um. Wow. Look, okay, we could technically talk about how yours is a better experience, but my score is a bigger number. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna unbiasedly call this a W for me. Alright, totally. I'll, I'll let you have your, your three-point win over here. Do you want to play Skyrim Special Edition or New Vegas? We promised the people New Vegas, but... <laughs> Do you want to try and launch Skyrim Special Edition? I don't know. If you've got it installed, I've got it installed, and I think it's gonna be harder to run the New Vegas. It'll definitely be harder to run... I know um, New Vegas has trouble, like, uh, at 1440, but it doesn't have any trouble at 1080. 
Skyrim Special Edition had trouble running on my old card. Wow. That's just, yeah, I just put it up real quick. Why is it? For low quality, wow, it's not brave. Like, with my 7850 2 gig card, which would smoke your 550 Ti, like not even close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, sec technically a 7870 is the minimum requirement for Fallout 4. This is basically Fallout 4. Hey, let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna run my car. It's gonna be like, I mean, it's gonna be just, like you what, mate? <laughs> it's just like I mean, we're I'm pretty sure because I used to play Fallout New Vegas on a card like this, so um, and it played 60 FPS like no problem. So I I feel like this will be a better, you know, like inches. And I mean, Skyrim's been released a thousand times, so all everybody who's watching this owns a copy of Skyrim. Oh boy, what's it gonna think? Not identified. Settings have been set for low quality. I mean, I'm on low too. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Let's let's do a uh, close to desktop speed run. <laughs> I win. Just <laughs> <laughs> not. Did it just not boot? It's only five twelve megs of VRAM. Oh god. I'm sorry, buddy. I told you it's not gonna run. <laughs> It probably needs DirectX 11. Oof. Well, let's see what it looks like on my PC real quick. This card will run regular Skyrim, by the way. I've tested that off screen. I still have it installed right now. Are you freaking kidding me? Something is not happy right here. I think my keyboard's messing up. Eh, 60 FPS. Tex is like, let's just, let's just go back to the planned New Vegas route. I can't play Skyrim. All right, let's just go for New Vegas. Clearly this will play Skyrim at 720p. Yeah, this, this will play regular Skyrim, just not special edition. Yeah, yeah, that's true. A game that came out a few years earlier. So what we're just gonna it's do- Regular Skyrim is 2011. This card's 2008. It's reasonable. This is a really good game too. Like if, if you didn't have any kind of PC and you wanted to build, put a PC together for like, you know, a few hundred bucks, like we're talking like really low, like maybe yeah. like $150. I'm pretty sure 1080p, I mean. Yeah, it ran on my laptop. Like New Vegas runs 1080p on my, my Vega. Integrated. So make sure that all the samples and everything are the same. Yeah, that's just default. I feel like both these cards are just gonna be at the default Bethesda cap of 60 because when you go over 60 FPS in a Bethesda game, what happens next? Uh, you get killed by watermelons. Yeah, the physics engine breaks, <laughs> so things moving around will kill you. Yeah, you can you can run Skyrim past 60 FPS, but you have to mod like an INI file to force the physics engine to synchronize at a different rate. <laughs> and still janky stuff happens. I'm gonna but... load a game that's like close to early. 55, oh no. All right, back up to 60. I don't care about all these DLC. But have you, but have you, but have you, have you checked out, have you checked out? <laughs> Wait, is this just your character? Yeah, this is definitely your, one of your characters. I completely stole your files and now I don't have save games of my own. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 60 FPS. I think that was pretty bland though. This is a really good game, especially for these cards. Like, it looks good, and then on top of that, it's really easy to play because it just plays at a lock 60. This game does not like, it, it doesn't run at full 60 on here. This this little, like, Dust Devil stuff here drops my frame rate quite a bit. Yeah, like, I can play with the Dust Devil, and we're at 60. Yeah, it drops me down to, like, a little bit. It does, like, 43, even. Yeah, I think, I think if you're looking for an older card, I think uh, you should definitely go with the if like say a thirty five dollar card you should definitely go with the five fifty just because it can play more games. Yeah, you can you can play DX eleven titles, which means you can play like all those crappy MMOs. Yeah. You can play Skyrim Special Edition apparently. I'm shocked by that. Yeah, and at seven twenty P it plays, so a little bit of sharpening might help, but Yeah, no, it's it's a better deal. But there's there's a point where the features with the NVIDIA cards. It's not an NVIDIA feature. And I mean, to be fair, uh, <laughs> well, we paid 25 for that. Yeah, and I mean, you're, again, your card's 
three years newer and it came at a transition point where new technology was just coming out. Besides Terra Scale's kind of bad. You want an AMD card that's like worth talking about, you get a 7000 series. Yeah, those are pretty strong. And fine wine. They fine wine the crap out of them. You know why? Because they were just selling the same dang thing for five years. <laughs> this is VG++++. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're going for something cheap, go with something newer, even if it's not as strong, because, I mean, like, technically these are pretty much equally matched in strength, but if you're looking at something that's old, and one thing is newer, and they're both technically the same strength, you probably want to get something newer, because features. Yeah, it's, it's just like with, um... Hey, I won one for once. Look at me. Okay, so, so like I was saying, just get out. <laughs> Uh, it's like with phones. You'll hear people say, don't buy a mid-range phone, buy an old flagship. Yeah, sure, buy an old flagship. Buy yourself an S9. But don't buy yourself an S7. Yeah. Like, at that point, buy yourself, like, a mid-range modern phone. Like, you're gonna be missing out on OS upgrades and features. Just like here, I'm missing out on DX11. <laughs> Oof. I don't have VRAM. <laughs> My card looks way better, though. His this card is cooler. Yeah. And it'll probably run quieter, because temperatures and stuff but it won't boost <laughs> it's it's a nice card yeah it is all yeah, right features. congrats congrats finally all right it's so raining out so you get buried <laughs> in the mud man if nobody went back and watched <laughs> till the end of the uh the first graphics card uh video we had yeah they would never see the uh the scene of you digging a hole out in the uh out in front of the shop. And I, I doubt anybody watched that far into that video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you're wondering, there is an Easter egg at the end of that video. And if you're watching till the end of this video, you're clearly interested enough to see that Easter egg. So uh, you're probably already subscribed. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Go go join the Discord. Yeah, hop in the Discord. You can argue, argue with me. Yeah, argue with Zach's. Tell me silly for buying ATI. Oh, it's so good, though. It was the golden days. <laughs> And, uh, you know, comment on what uh, random old card that you might have that you still love. Stare, I know just, I know everything about your 1050. <laughs> that boy loves that card. I mean, they're making new ones now, right? Yeah, they're remaking the 1050, <laughs> man. You bought stock early. The card's so good, they're making more of them. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you around.